Joe from Tech Guru Guy. Today we'll be reviewing the Nintendo Switch OLED and see if it's still worth buying in 2023. The Nintendo Switch OLED is an upgraded version of the Nintendo Switch, which, as you can see, has a bigger screen by about three inches and a much much more detailed screen and the normal joysticks contain a white color and better tracking you can see the box has a nice clear way to let you unbox your nintendo switch but the main change in the nintendo switch and the other ones is a new stand which has up to 180 degrees vertical and it also comes with a cable for ethernet no for hdmi and this can be plugged in the back of your nintendo switch and in the back of this and this hdmi cord will allow you to cast your nintendo switch gameplay to your tv or any other device that can support hdmi we also see it comes with a nice black charger and if you want to take off your joysticks which there is a button you will be able to put it on this controller and it will automatically connect to your Nintendo Switch as you see now oh. no batteries okay but to open up the back of this case all you have to do is just pull it and you can see here many different cases for example ac adapter hdmi and lan cable you can also put your nintendo switch in here Oops, nintendo switch in here and it'll fit perfectly and then put in HDMI and screencast it to your TV while playing games and charging your controllers and your Nintendo Switch. But also, we see if we compare this to Nintendo Switch Lite and Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch, which is quite old, has a smaller screen, less of quality, and it also has less battery life this battery life can last from 48 hours four to eight hours it depends on where or what you're using it for for example when you're gaming mostly four to six hours but when you are not gaming it can last all the way up to eight hours which is quite good However, the Nintendo Switch can only go six hours without gaming and four hours max with gaming, maybe sometimes two. Because of the old, old edition, which would only last two, and if you buy the new Nintendo Switch, it will last up to four hours. However, this is a Nintendo Switch OLED, so the different thing about it, the, mo the main difference is just the quality. There's not much of a difference, but the price range is like around £100 difference, or 50 pound difference depends where you're buying it from but comparing this to nintendo light the light sadly cannot mirror to your tv which is one of the downsides however it can almost run exactly like a nintendo switch but the nintendo switch oled has better quality still and and about the same battery life i believe so yeah the main difference about this is quality and battery life so would i recommend getting a nintendo switch oled probably you might as well get it if you're trying to get a nintendo switch